Okay, Roger, Dodger, rolling. Yeah, so that was the thing, you know, it was uh, psychologically, you know, putting us into a deep sleep, you know, where my buddies, you know, he's saying, you know, don't you see what they're doing? They're brainwashing you. You know, I didn't think there was anything wrong with it, you know, especially if somebody's threatening me never to say anything about anything. I go, what are you talking about? You know, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, I know every now and then, more than every now and then, I mean, it's, it's on a regular basis and the specific way that we live and the rules that we have and stuff, so. You know, there was a, uh, what, what did I say, like, a, this kind of like a, a mommy dearest on steroids. Oh yeah, I was gonna look up uh, uh, Cortese. I'm gonna look that up and uh, see if I can find some information out. A lot of people go, well, I don't know what that is. I go, well, imagine ter uh, uh, Tourette's on steroids, you know? Cortese, so I kind of figured it out that that's probably why they have this under the wraps. What is Cortese definition? Black's Law Dictionary. Definition of Cortese, a court or yard before a house. Yeah, that's not it. Cortese, genitive singular of cores. Cortese. He said it was some sort of an imbalance. Cortese group of companies. Maybe I should should put psycho, psychology today or something with psychology. And I'm a horrible speller. Psychedelic and psychology and all that stuff. Psychiatrist stuff, that works. Psychiatrist. Okay. So, R-T-I-S. Portis. Psychiatrist, number one online counseling website. Betterhelp.com. Professional counseling available 24-7. Private and affordable. Let's see, um, Dr. Owen Snyder. So it looks like what I got is the result for psychiatrist. So how about if we do a definition? Definition. A psychiatrist is a physician, so I'm getting a, a, a definition of a psychiatrist. Oh yeah, Rob Das was saying something like that, and this is really cool. He, they brought him all in, and he he thought he was like having some sort of a panel, but it turns out that he's on the hot seat in a uh, what was it? it was supposed to be group therapy. You know, these are these really highly trained professionals. It, it's it seems to turn out that it was like more of an evaluation and to see what type of uh, psychological condition or profile he has. You know, after being. Uh, dismissed from Harvard, you know. Um, there wasn't anything wrong with the study and the research they were doing when they started it. And they really documented a lot of information and produced a lot of helpful information, you know, for a lot of things. And then, you know, the uh, LSD, cultural, psychedelic explosion and becoming illegal, the uh, acid Kool-Aid test. And, so, you know, to tell you the truth, I think that was really mishandled, that this would be considered fired. You know what I mean? It's more like getting ripped off. You know, it's more like being dismissed because now this specific research is being discontinued. You know, or, uh, uh, or under the wraps or, you know, if you ask me, I don't know the, the full details of it, but I know that, you know, privately, you know, with the, uh, uh, was it Brookhurst, you know, that, you know, the sessions were continuing. I don't know if it's still continuing on Harvard or not, you know, but, you know, who's to say, you know, who's at fault or who's not at fault, but, you know, it could have been handled better, you know, by the parties, all of the parties involved, let me put it that way. And I'm quite sure Dr. Leary and, and uh, Ron Doss and uh, Metzner, and, uh, and everyone involved in the studies did the, a great job. They did the best they could. They figured out to understand something that was very difficult to understand, but it had some sort of a phenomenon that, that goes with it, you know. Um, so, but, uh, you know, but just like anything else, you know, Popeye was saying, you know, you're Americans, you know, the hippies addicted to your LSD. You know, I'm here to help you and your kids and your youth. You know, uh, we don't really 
need to ruin our lives and ruin our health and wreck our brains, you know, with continued chronic use, you know, psychological addiction, you know, or, you know, don't, just don't realize what it, you could do to yourself with it. There were some reactions, you know, so under a controlled environment, you know, it used to be uh, prescribed. But uh, yeah, I just, so I'm thinking maybe I should ask them about the cortis or cortis. You know, because at first you, everybody goes, you mean like cortisone? He goes, no, not cortisone, hydrocortisone, cortisone. He goes, no, no, he says it's like in, this imbalance thing. But uh, yeah, he was psychologically, devastated. had a big giant hernia operation. Had a big hernia eight inches long, he was trying to take care of it, but it, you know, if you have a hernia and he's trying to take care of it, you know, a good idea would be not to be causing trouble, not to be committing crimes, to stay out of jail. Because that was, uh, I think, the first thing that they did. You know, my buddy told me they gave him his hernia operation. Unless he used hernia operation for some other dismemberment of his body. You know, <laughs> that's another good reason to stay out of jail. Some sort of common thing that can happen. You know, which is like totally uncool. That's not cool at all. The jail systems, uh, re you know, reformation. What, what, is it, what do they call it? Rehabilitation, you know, you get hurt and killed and murdered or something while you're in rehabilitation, you know, rehabilitation with a bunch of criminals and stuff, I guess. What, what, what is the rehabilitation? You got the remote control, watch MTV all night, play checkers, sleep all day, you know, how long are you going to be in there? What are you going to do the first thing you get out? You know, you're going to stay away from prisons. Oh, in fact, there was the prison program stuff. The whole idea was, you know, um, become um, rehabilitated, get out of prison, stay out of prison, you know? So, uh, what was this? Uh, what are the initials for a psychiatrist? So maybe I should ask it, oh, cortisol. Why we measure cortisol levels? Inter Integrative psychology, cortisol, you will recall, is the major player in your body's essential definition of allostasis is the notion of a rapid recovery to optimal, okay, what are we saying here? Major player in your body's fight or flight response to stress. The association between stress and the hypo hypothalamic pituitary adrenal axis has been e extensively investigated ever since the pioneering work of Hans Sell in 1936, specifically stress-induced elevations in cortisol. The principal hormone produced by the HPA axis and the main player in your fight or flight stress response have been well documented. I wonder, uh, maybe do a little more research on that. And, you know, let's say like behavior summary, related products, clinical symptoms alone are seldom sufficient to guide treatment recommendation. Although, okay. More recently, researchers in the Psychiatric Neuroscience Laboratory at the Australian Institute of Tropical Health and Medicine at James Cook University have shown that individuals with psychosis produce low amounts of cortisol after they wake up in the morning, cortisol awakening response. Results of the study are published. Okay, so, yeah, something we kind of, kind of look up, you know. And, uh, so, you know, the Ramdas program is a pretty good program, you know, be here now, and that's the first thing I started before I joined Ishkan in 19... 76, when I was 17 years old. And uh, really cleaned up my life, turned my life around. You know, the, the actual experiences that I had actually had when I was in high school. Was, you know, I had experienced love.